and we're back ladies and gentlemen welcome 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 i'm clever and uh, i just got uh, kind of woken up from surgery um not not just as in i just woke up from the actual surgery but like i was really uh, fatigued and everything um after the whole process so i came home i slept a little bit um I just wanted to give you guys a quick update video um, because I was not able to record in bulk like I was hoping. Um, I was setting up uh, while well, trying to work with uh, one of the guys and the crew to get his setup all good so we can record together soon. Um, I do have videos in the queue to put out there so there will be content. Um, I feel really good. I had a uh, distal clavicle excision uh, they just basically took the end off of the bone of my clavicle um, because after my separated shoulder it, it, it kept uh, grabbing and it didn't feel very good and after working it would be really challenging to lift something up overhead especially if it grabbed and then it, it it's like two uh, bones and they'd be together when I started lifting it and then the clavicle would slip up like that and it it was just really really painful sometimes so uh, hopefully this will take care of everything I heard that the surgery went great uh, no issues really um, nothing major to worry about um, yeah I should be I should be back in a week no matter what but I do have gameplay videos I can put out and uh, yeah that, that that is about it um a little bit about distal clavicle excisions um you you'll they're done arthroscopically typically now uh it's so they put like four little holes in your shoulder and then they put a scope in and then they do whatever they have to do and then clean it out and whatever um people had told me because I had a friend who had this that it was really painful um, uh, personally I'm pretty good with pain anyways but I haven't had uh, too much pain and I didn't receive any like shoulder block or localized block or anything I've just been on uh, whatever they gave me during the surgery that wore off Probably around like two or three and then I've been on whatever pills they gave me prescribed to me so I've been doing pretty solid throat kind of hurts I had a breathing tube in um, for the anesthesia and everything that so my voice is kind of gone it's kind of tough I'm still loopy in the head from all the drugs really but I'm, I'm more aware now than I was so yeah um, if you end up having a surgery like this or anything the pain's not bad unless something goes wrong from what I understand um, and just because when I say something goes wrong I don't mean like catastrophically wrong I mean like something is uh, wrapped in the wrong place or your muscles thicker in some place or whatever the case may be it, it there it's a pretty low risk surgery and all that good stuff um, but yeah um, I'm going to work on a few videos soon and then um, you guys shouldn't notice any real change in the scheduling if that makes any sense it, it, it's tough for me to concentrate right now but you guys shouldn't be impacted in any way as far as the content I put out um, I'm hoping to get three or four videos out this week um, by Sunday um, we'll see how that goes I'm, 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 I can't make any promises yet because the pain could get worse, it could get better. I, I might be let's playing by the end of the week again. So, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know, um, let you know a little bit about what I actually had done. Um, the, the, I have no restrictions or anything. The only uh, restriction is my pain threshold, and like I said, I shouldn't have any issues with that. So, yeah. Uh, if you could leave a like, show me you're thinking about me a little bit, um, comment and subscribe, and uh, with that I bid you adieu, a fond farewell, until we meet again in the next video.
拜拜。